We are presenting the life and work of Catherine Dunham, Group 1, Yvonne Aritza, Catherine Cam Teixeira, and Sarai Castillo. Catherine Dunham was an American dancer, choreographer, and anthropologist who was widely regarded as one of the most influential and groundbreaking figures of modern dance. She was born in Chicago in 1909. Dunham was also one of the eldest of four children born into a family of African, American, and French-Canadian descendants. So her father, Albert Millard Dunham, was a professor of sociology, and her mother, Fanny June Dunham, was a sem seamstress. So from early age, young girl, she initially focused her studies on ballet, modern dance, jazz, but later on shifted her focus to Caribbean and African dance forms. So in her earlier life in 1930, she enrolled at the University of Chicago and studied anthropology and sociology. In 1933, she completed her study with a thesis on Jamaican dance and culture, and that was the first of its kind as well. In 1934, she established a Negro dance group in Chicago, which was one of the first professional black dance troops in the United States. So what they did was aim to bring attention to social and political issues facing African Americans and highlighting the beauty of African and Caribbean dance forms. So the troupe was also very highly successful and got invited to perform in Europe, Asia, and Australia. As you can see, Dunham's work is a reminder of the importance of standing up for justice and equality. Dunham's works and methods of creating art and educating young people are often employed in today's classroom to explore African-American experience and empower students to take action and fight for social justice. Other notable mentions, Catherine Dunham was committed to human rights, equality, and social justice. All of these themes were included throughout the years of her existence. Catherine put herself at high risk when she embarked on a hunger strike for 47 days. In the year of 1992, she was protesting the turning way at the border post of Haitian boat people by the U.S. immigration. Common attribution. Catherine Dunham is reputed as a choreographer, dancer, and performer who was a leading light in the African-American development of mother dance. She is noted for cross-cultural performances. She's also reputed for a sound sense of social justice as she once put on hold one of her performances after learning that the black community was excluded from the ticket sale. Dunham didn't just got involved in her dance teaching and practicing just for the fame or fortune. She believed in the portraying the best ideas that will put all humanity for equal footing. In the eye of the storm, Catherine Duhan was in the eye of the storm in 1980 when Heron Torres turned away at the Five Star Hotel in Brazil. She was credited to have a made a storm over the incident with extensive publicity across many channels. This storm led to the promulgation of the Afonso Arinos Law which made racism an act of felony in the South American nation of Brazil. Her literary words, Catherine Duhan went on to write a couple of books to document her childhood experiences and the lessons she picked up in her light work. A Touch of Innocence, Memories of Childhood was published in 1959. In this book, Duhan history of the chaos and conflict that entered her childhood after her mother's early death. The island poses come alone in 1969. In this book, Duhan tells how the island come to be possessed by demons of voodoo and other cults import from Africa. She reveals her fascination for the people and cults of Haiti, 
work that is spelled catapulting her into experiences that she was often lucky to survive. During her day pay day in the 40s, 50 and 60, she was renowned through Europe and Latin America as La Grande Catherine, and the Washington Post called her Dances Catherine the Great. For more than 30 years, she maintained the Catherine Duhan Dance Company, the only permanent self suicide American black dance. True at the time and over her long career, she choreographed more than 90 individual dance. Duhan was an innovator in African American modern dance, as well as a leader in the field of dance, anthropology or ethnochoreology.